what is absolutely popping my lollipops you already know it's your girl lola Wola, and i'm back with another message please make sure you guys take this message back to the lord most high in prayer and supplication heavenly father i welcome you here today take full control of my mind my tongue my heart my intentions oh god and everybody under the sound of my voice father god i pray that lord you will speak directly to them whoever this message is for father i pray that lord you will reach them in the mighty name of jesus abba father have your way in the mighty name of jesus teach us your very self oh god don't allow me to speak lord for I'm just a vessel, Father, speak through me. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, anyway, we've fallen short of your glory in our deeds, our words, our thoughts, our action that will cause this message to go in one ear and out the other. Father God, I pray for your mercy, O God, upon our lives. In the name of Jesus, Lord, have your way over our lives. In Jesus' glorious, mighty name, we pray, amen. The test came back around. The test came back around. You are dealing with a sin that is habitual. You are dealing with a sin that is repeating itself. The test came back around. But not only did that test come back around, you passed it the first time. God wanted to test you again and you failed the second time. <laughs> Because the devil wants you to fail so bad. Because God knew that this test or this sin, this spirit that is in you, he's waiting for you to realize that it's a spirit that he needs you to get deliverance from. You don't even know how to get deliverance. You don't know that you are a hearer of God. You are a hearer of God's grace. You don't even know that. You don't even know that you are adopted into Christ, meaning you're no longer a slave to that sin, mama. You're no longer a slave to that sin. My God, <laughs> the devil really thinks he can continue to manipulate you because when the test came back the first time, you were like, oh, I know this test. I know this test and you shut it down. So you're thinking, oh, I passed this test, it's over with. It's not coming back around. So when it came back the second time, you didn't think nothing of it because it came back in a different way. It came back in a different tactic. It came back in a different light. See, Galatians chapter four, verse one to seven. Let's read it together. Galatians chapter four, verse one to seven. Now I say that the here, as long as he is a child, deferreth nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. It says, even so we, body of Christ, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of this world. When we were children, as we were growing up, what much did we know about God? We were under bondage, meaning lying came easy to us. Stealing, oh, that's not a problem. I could steal, nobody gonna catch me, okay? When it came to, oh, I have a little boyfriend, I have a little girlfriend, it didn't matter to you doing all to do. Why? Because you were bond, you were caged, you were in bondage. That's what the word of God says. Even so we, body of Christ, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. Meaning we were doing things that were of the world. See, what the devil is not understanding is that you also are going through training. So God allows certain things to happen. He allows you to fail that exam because he knows it's going to grow you. He knows that although you failed that exam, you're going to learn from your mistakes. But the devil thinks that, ha, 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 I got her now. Oh, ho, 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 I got him now. See, he thinks that he got you, 
But in reality, that's God's plan all along. Because God knows that you're going to learn from that mistake that was made. Guys, I quickly have to add this into this video. As I'm, I'm literally at church right now, y'all. I'm outside of the church because he put this on my heart and I don't want it to go. I don't want it to go. He's basically saying, right, I allowed you to, to fail that exam because I want you to give me the glory. I, I hope this is making sense to somebody out there, okay? There was a reason why you felt that exam. And that's because God didn't want you to boast, okay? He knew that, oh, you, you passed the first one. The second one, you failed because he knew that soon you, you will have that big shoulder. Instead of you to be humble and to go to him on some, Lord, I need you. That's what he wants. He wants you to go to him on some, I need you, Lord. Okay, I don't know who this is for, but I just had to add it before, as I go back into this service. God bless. If you keep reading to verse four, it says, but when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, Jesus Christ, made of a woman, made under the law, verse five, to redeem them that were under the law. Mind you, body of Christ, we were, past tense, under the law we are no longer under the law keep reading keep reading okay to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons and of course we can add daughters and because ye are sons god had sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts crying abba father that's the holy spirit crying out abba father wherefore thou art no more a servant but a son and if a son then a hearer of god through christ jesus and this makes it very clear very clear that yes your righteousness is like a filthy rag yes you fall short of god's glory yes you are full of sin but you're not under the law anymore. Past tense, you were under the law. You are not under the law anymore. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, you have been covered by his blood. God's not looking at your sin. He's looking at the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of the lamb. Now, that does not mean we continue in our sin. It's something called repent. It's something called turn away. It's something called take action into fixing this. I know you like that girl. I know you like that guy. Back up. Because if it's meant for you, it'll find you. If that's what God's plan for you is, if that's who God has designed for you, why won't they locate you when the time is right instead of y'all to keep falling in a repeated lifestyle of sin right he's making it very clear very clear that you're his and you're not under the law of the world okay god was talking to me earlier today about this and he was talking through my colleague, my coworker. And what she said really struck to me. He said, it's all about your heart. Because who is holy for real? Yeah, you felt the test and now you feel, oh my goodness, Lord, I keep failing the same test over and over. You gave me this test already. Now it's just in a different form. The questions are all mixed up. You're asking these questions in a different way now. This is not the answer choices you gave me last time. This is not how this exam looked last time I took it. But the reason God keeps giving you this test is because he wants you to get into an alignment with him and you're not falling in that alignment because you keep failing that exam. 
He needs you to pass that exam. And he wants you to realize what spirit you need to get deliverance from. So you're gonna keep getting this exam and you will pass it once you realize what is this spirit God is showing me? What is this spirit God is telling me that I contain? So that way I can rebuke it. So that way I can bind it into the bottomless pit of hell where it belongs. Where it belongs. A lot of you guys, it's the spirit of lust. The spirit of lust is running rampage. Body of Christ, a lot of us, it's the spirit of lust. And God wants you to call that spirit by name and cast it into the bottomless pit of hell where it belongs. Because the devil wants to find you slipping so bad so that we, he can have a legal right, a legal hold over you so that way when it's time for your blessing, Abba Father, my God, he can use that against you. He wants to use that against you. He wants to take that failure, that paper that says you have a D minus. He wants to flag it in your face. He wants to flag it in front of your breakthrough. But that's not the reason why God placed that test. God placed that test to grow you. He wants you to realize what you're really chained to. A lot of you is the spirit of Jezebel. And the spirit of Jezebel does not only lash on to women. Oh no. Uh -huh. It lashes on to men as well. It sure does. And don't be ashamed of failing. I fail. Yes, Lola Wola fails. And what do I do? I tell God I'm so tired of this flesh. You be so real with him. Tell him where you erred. Confess. He is faithful. He is just to forgive you of your sin. He is so full of mercy, you guys. The last thing you want to do is give up. And that's who I'm talking to today. The giver upper. The person who feels like I done failed too much and I keep failing at the same exam. I keep failing at the same test. Oh man, the, the next thing you wanted to do before you clicked this video was quit. You were so ready to quit. You were so ready to quit. Because even me, myself, not that I wanted to quit. Oh no. Because <laughs> that's the last thing I'm going to do is quit. I'm going to fight. Because what the devil does not understand is because, yeah, you got a mark of the Holy Spirit on you. But you also know that because you got that mark on you, that these demons are looking for ways to devour you. They are looking for ways to bring you down. They are looking for ways to cause you to disappoint God. But God has turned it around for your good. God has already said, baby, this exam is to grow you. I need you to realize this is what you're latched on to. Now, call that demon by name. Call that demon by name. You Jezebel spirit, I command you. I command you out. Call that demon by name. You spirit of sexual immorality, I command you out. I am not your candidate. Call your name. I, Lola Wola, am not your candidate. Out. Demand it out. Y'all are chosen, handpicked by God. You can't get tired. You're, you're literally a target. Do you hear me? You're a target. So, of course, we fall short of the glory of God. And if you say that you're not a sinner, automatically you're lying and therefore makes you a sinner. So cheese and crackers, don't ever say you're not a sinner because you are. See, God says that in our meat, our weakness is where his strength is manifested. His strength is made manifest in our weakness. Oh, okay. Seeing that fine girl walk by with her body looking like, instead of you to move your eyes, you keep looking. Does the Bible not say, even if you look 
You have already committed adultery or was it, what is it? Fornication in your heart just by looking. And a lot of you guys are still containing that boyfriend, containing that girlfriend, living with them, visiting them, falling short of God's glory every other weekend, if not the next. Children of God, God, all he wants from you is to repent. What does repenting mean? To turn away, to know the authority you have in Jesus, to know that you are a hearer of God's grace. Children of God, Galatians chapter four talks about this. You are not under the law of the world anymore. You are under the law of grace. Yes, this is good news, but that doesn't mean go sit in your sin. That means stop whining about it. That means repent. That means open your heart out. Like my coworker said, it's your heart posture. What is your heart saying? See, yes, God will have mercy on you. Did you ask for it? What is your heart saying? How is your heart sitting? Children of God. God wants to work with you so bad, but you need to pass this exam. Every time, especially if you're dealing with lust, if you're dealing with sexual immorality, if you're dealing with the Jezebel spirit, we got to name these spirits and we got to cast them out. If you're dealing with these spirits, right? The Bible literally tells us that sin against your own body. Yeah, yeah that's one sin. You know how I always say sin is sin right all to god sin is sin all sin is sin but the sin against your own body because this is a temple of god we should not be sinning against god through our own body and a lot of you once you make when you fall short, short of god glory instead of you to run to god you're running away from him no 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 but because you still have breath of life because you are still breathing my lollipops because you still have breath of life, God is telling you today, run to him because he still has a reason to use you. He still has purpose for you. He still has destiny that needs to be fulfilled in you. And of course, you've been marked, marked by God. God has marked you with his oil. So the devil sees that light as a threat. He sees you as a, as a threat to the kingdom of darkness, to the kingdom of hell. And therefore he wants to take that out, that light out. He wants to take the light in you out. Are you gonna let him win? Yes, we fall short. Even our righteousness is like a filthy rag. I'm not saying go and have fun and, and that's not fun, first of all. Dying is not fun. Death, eternal death is not fun. So don't let me mix it up. Okay, I'm not saying go out and live in sin and make that a lifestyle. God is going to keep testing you. Your goal is to pass the exam. Your goal is to pass the exam. We are going to get weak on this walk. We are going to be tired on this walk, but God has given us strength in our weakness. His strength is made manifest. So you gotta remember that, okay? I'm gonna talk to my business partner once again about uh, having the merch site back up. I really wanna make more unique stuff, but y'all financially, a girl is tight. Like I need a financial breakthrough. Don't forget y'all can totally sow into this ministry. Uh, God has great ideas that he has placed inside of me. I just financially is tight you know like automatically i really have some unique stuff of that we can wear to rep god but i just don't know how to manifest it without of course a financial breakthrough so we still praying for god to help us in that aspect um thank you all so much for watching remember guys to inhale exhale and rebuke hell in the mighty name of jesus god bless you my lollipops y'all stay sweet join us if you're not already mobbing with us we are mobbing on this narrow path of righteousness into the heavenly gates 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Bye, my lollipops. Stay sweet.